I'm Seb from UTS Green and that's the sustainability unit here uh, at UTS and today we're running uh, one of our Fix It workshops which is part of a program of a series of six workshops over um, about a six month period where we look at um, everyday items that we all use from you know a pair of shoes through to electrical appliances, um, today we're looking at digital devices. Um, that we, um, we have all around us every day and the consumer society that we live in, you know, we buy them and then it encourages us to often throw them away when they get maybe a cracked screen or something like that. And this workshop series is looking at how can we repair them, um, whether or not they can be repaired and sometimes um, they can't, we need to throw them away and replace them. But sometimes they're really simple things and we just actually don't have the knowledge ourselves. So it's about knowing uh, how to do it, um, how to diagnose the problem, and if we can't do it ourselves, take it. Where do, where do we take it? You know, um, where can we get it fixed? And um, is it cost effective? In some cases it might not be, but in some cases, it, you know, it's relatively cheap to get this stuff repaired. Um, and so that's what the series is about, and that's um, what today's about. Um, we're looking uh, today at digital devices, so things like laptops, iPhones, um, computers, game consoles, that sort of thing. And um, we've got a wide range of those uh, today with our uh, experts here from um, the Bauer Repair Cafe, who are uh, electricians who've come in um, with some specialised knowledge to work with people and have a look at um, people who've brought their, their, their um, broken devices in, have a look and see um, whether or not they're repairable. So that's um, what we're here doing today. I might hand over to Jade, who can maybe talk a little bit more about um, repair cafes and the repair culture that's growing uh, um, both here in Sydney and um, around the world. So we're running a fix-it workshop today with the Bauer, so some volunteers from the Bauer Reuse and Repair Centre. And we're running it on campus so that students, the general public, staff here at UTS can all learn about repair as a way to reduce waste and reduce the waste of the resources that are actually embodied in the materials that we throw away at the end of their life. I am the manager of uh, the Bauer Reuse and Repair Centre, which is a cooperative, and we are based in Marrickville. Um, we exist for 15 years and are specialised in uh, collecting household waste and uh, building material, basically. Um, we do that with a uh, reuse and referral service, which is supported by 15 city councils. And it comes down to us having a uh, truck and a person in the office receiving all incoming calls for collections of items, donations in fact from the individuals. And we will then uh, look at the quality where we can use it in our store as a sales item or whether we can repair it. And if we can't do any of those, we will refer to a specialized organization. Uh, that's one of our main tasks as an organization and one of our main missions, uh, which is diverting waste going to landfill. And that's where we partner with City Council. The second big component of our organization is the reuse and repair of items that are broken or in bad condition. And we have specialized uh, services for that purpose. We have in-house workshops for furniture repair, for computer repair, for electronic appliances, for bikes, um, and we, we do that for 15 years, that sort of uh, repair for our own purpose. And very recently, we have ex actually extended that to a cafe where individuals can bring in their own items, a broken toaster or a broken chair, and we will then advise them on how they can do this repair themselves. Because what we have uh, learned over the years is that uh, individuals have lost this knowledge on how to repair things and uh, have a tendency to throw away, buy cheap and throw away when it's coming to life and instead of trying to find a way to repair it and continue using it. So we, we are promoting the, the thinking around buying items that in the first place are repairable and then also learning the, 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 the skills, the basic knowledge on how to do it yourself. Um, those are the main things. We, we of course have a store where we sell all those items and there we actually uh, help out a lot of people that not necessarily because of the cheap price and that they don't have the money to pay for it, but uh, that's definitely an element of our objectives, uh, offering items at affordable price. 
but it is as much uh, a, an intention to offer reused items, upcycled items, where people can see that actually old items can still have a second life with a bit of creativity. Uh, we, we have this section in our store where we offer individuals space to uh, sell with a percentage for them and for us. Uh, items that they have sold themselves uh, re redone and upcycled is what we call it. And a lot of creative nice items are there on sale. Um, besides those projects, we support a lot of community groups, uh, such as a men's shed, which is located and based in our store. And they have their own space where they help us with uh, repairing furniture and also repair uh, in the bower if there is anything broken uh, that needs upgrading, they will help us as well. Uh, we do this also for uh, other groups such as an upholstery team, Curb Collective is their name. They are specialized in uh, redesigning, putting new fabric on old chairs and couches. And we have a space for that uh, elsewhere than in the bower where they meet twice a week to learn the skill and then repair items and sell those items uh, in our store. Um, yeah, that's, that's in short the main things we do.